Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make goulash. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's recipe once you've watched this video. So I have here some unsalted butter that I'm going to melt down in my pan here. And I'm going to do this on medium-ish heat. And I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil. I'm going to kind of brown the butter a bit, so that's why I had the pan so hot. Just brown the butter kind of gives it additional flavor and adding that oil will raise that burning point so it doesn't burn up so much. So I'm going to give the pan a swirl. I have a white onion. You can use a yellow onion if you like. If you want to use sweet onions. You know, it's, just, it's totally up to you. So I'm just going to roughly chop up this onion. And I'm just going to saute the onion for a little bit. So I'm going to just roughly chop my onion. I'm going to add all that to my butter over here. After adding all the onion, we're going to turn the heat up to about medium high. And then we're going to burn the spices. And how, here I have ground caraway, ground caraway seeds. I'm not going to need too much of them, too much of the ground, ground caraway, or you can use caraway seeds. And then this is sweet smoked paprika. I'm going to give that to a toss together. You see by burning the spices a little bit directly into the oil it's going to release the flavors and it's going to also give our dish additional sort of a roasted like flavor so while i let my onion cook for just a minute i have a large tomato that would give us roughly about a cup of tomato i'm going to use a fresh tomato instead of using canned tomatoes i like to try to use as much as the tomato that i can possible and just sort of roughly chop it you get tomatoes that are going kind of soft that's a perfect way to use them as well we're gonna stir my onions since they've sat there for a bit So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pan down for just a minute. I'm going to remove my tomatoes and set the tomatoes aside. I have here chuck roast that I'm just going to cut it up into about one inch beef cubes. Just try to cut them rather roughly the same size so that way everything gets done at the same time. So I'm going to just cut the beef and I'm just going to throw it in this flour. So my beef, I cut it up and I dredged it in flour and I tossed the beef into my skillet here. I add a little bit more oil to it and I'm then just searing this off. You want to sear it for about five minutes total. Just give it a toss every so often and just let it sear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water because it's seared for a while. Seared for about five, six minutes. I just gave everything a toss every few minutes. And I'm going to just stir, scrape in the bottom of the pan here. And then I'm going to add to this to tomatoes, potatoes. But before I do that, I have here some bouillon. If you want to use beef stock, you can use beef stock. But I'm using some bouillon to make my stock. So I'm going to add the tomatoes. And then carrots. I'm going to add the carrots. Just shredded carrots instead of using large pieces of cut up carrots. And then I have here potatoes. I'm going to give everything a stir. And then I'm going to bring this to a slight boil. And once this comes to a boil, I'm going to cover this. And I'm going to 
let this cook oh before I do before I even cover it I'm gonna add some kosher salt plenty of kosher salt and coarsely brown black pepper I'm gonna stir everything in bring it to a boil we're gonna cover it and then we're gonna let this cook on medium low for about an hour to an hour and a half until the beef is tender So here's our goulash. It took an hour and 30 minutes for it to completely finish cooking. So I garnish the top of it with dried parsley. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dig in and give, give this a taste. Just to show you that the meat is tender. The potatoes, of course, is tender. So here it is. Mmm. Oh my god. So flavorful from the carrots and the caraway, absolutely delicious. Mm. There you have it, how to make goulash. If you enjoyed this recipe, please add this video to the playlist. Please give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and leave a comment down below. And please remember to live and be well. Let's come together and love each other as one. Thanks for watching.